Hey team, uh, Gary Thomas here from Wiley Sprocket. We're gonna uh, do a follow-up video on this little beauty here, the Square Terminal. And, <clears throat> you know, a little bit about our business again. Uh, we run in up to nine different locations at once. Uh, we have uh, five juice bars, we have a coffee business, we have a catering business. And uh, when this little terminal initially came out here, uh, what was great about it is uh, it has the built-in printer, the chip reader, uh, a very, very uh, simple unit uh, that would be malleable to the, the, to the differences in our business. And so in this situation here, we, we've got the regular Square POS system and we've got the Square Mini. And as we've done a lot of events with this little guy, we've, we've learned a lot. And uh, we wanted to share just some of the feedback that we've learned um, with this event and some of the, the limitations. And so um, in addition to the benefits of this unit, uh, just being small, compact, having the chip reader and the credit card reader, uh, the unit here will fit in the back of my pocket. Um, it has a battery so I can go out and I can take orders in the line if I want. Phenomenal, phenomenal job. Uh, but we've also ran into massive issues if you are purchasing peripherals um, or if you're connecting to internet connectivity is a major problem with this device. And um, about 70% of the venues that we do, this device will not work. And we'll explain why here in a second. Um, so the first one, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and tilt my camera down a little bit. Um, this device is uh, supposed to be compatible with a USB uh, printer. And so, uh, it, uh, excuse me, a USB cache drawer. So this is supposed to be compatible with uh, the, a, a, a traditional uh, USB cache drawer. So we purchased the Royale uh, USB cache drawer, which they're, they're pretty popular, uh, they're compact. Um, the Royale has a uh, little adapter here that the, that the cache drawer uh, plugs into, just like that. And uh, this will not work. Uh, you cannot just purchase any cash drawer with a printer. So when you look at Square having uh, specific requirements for the cash drawer, you have to purchase their recommended cash drawer. Um, we use the Epsilon uh, here for the regular POS system, but this guy is just a, a, a heaping uh, pile of cow dung that will not work. Um, with the square terminal. And so now at an event, we're forced to use the key, um, which is a huge uh, loss prevention issue. Another issue with this device is the, is the issue of internet connectivity. If you are connecting to any venue, any venue that requires a splash page, and a splash page or a landing page is the page when, when you go to connect to the internet, a, a page comes up and it, and it requires you to um, accept the terms and conditions. And um, at the Reno Spark Convention Center, uh, about 70% of the, the venues, there are four properties here, so, so basically three of them, 75%, require the use of a, of a splash page, including the Livestock Event Center here. This guy, no comprende. Um, it is a completely useless piece of machinery and we cannot use this uh, device. We've contacted Square to help us out with this and they've acknowledged that there's absolutely no compatibility with a splash page. And it's, a, it's really unfortunate um, because uh, we, we can't have this as a standalone unless you have an iPhone or an Android phone that supports the hotspot. Um, so, what I've had to do at the, uh, at the, at the livestock center here is on, our, on the iPads, we're fortunate enough, um, you can see the little guy right here, we have our iPads have an antenna. And so what we can do with the iPad is we can go into settings on an iPad, and if you have cellular connectivity, and you can do this with, a, uh, with uh, an iPhone as well, uh, you can enable a personal hotspot here. And once you, once you do that, you can go into the um, settings for the terminal here. And we'll give you guys an update here. So you can go into settings here. You just go into settings. 
and uh, you go to, uh, I think it's Wi-Fi. Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, yeah, network, Wi-Fi. I just had it. it was, oh, there it is, network right here. So if you go into network here, what you can do is you can, you can tether this to an iPhone or an iPad that uses a personal hotspot. But if you're the business owner and you're the only one that has an iPhone and you're gonna be leaving and having employees running it and you want this to run standalone, find a church, pray for divine intervention because this sucker is not gonna work. You have to have a separate device to tether it. And so we, the only way we've been able to find value to this device, uh, with this device, is, um, is by using it as a secondary register uh, that's, that's compatible with only like 1% of the cash drawers on the market, uh, that the dongles don't work. Um, and so uh, be, because Square's using their own operating system in this device and it's not iOS, there's not a lot of flexibility with, with what you can do but we're, we're forcing it to work. We, we, we have some value, just not as a standalone device. Um, uh, not, not, uh, not the preferred. So anyway, um, last one is, um, I found this great deal, and I'll show you this too, this is kinda cool. This great deal on this portable printer here. And uh, this is the Royale PT300 printer. Um, and what we were gonna do with this, this printer here, what we're gonna do is uh, you turn this baby on, and this is only like 80 bucks at Sam's Club. So you turn it on, I obviously I haven't charged it here, but you turn it on, and we were gonna use this as a kitchen printer down for our espresso machine uh, down at the other end. So the idea was that uh, customers would be able to uh, ring up coffee here and go all the way, and, and the, the printer would print it out like a kitchen printer, and it was gonna be really cool. Um, this device, again, another uh, heaping uh, piece of cow dung, uh, will not work. Uh, it will not work, it's not compatible with Square on Bluetooth, even though uh, they say it's compatible, um, it really isn't. And uh, it's really unfortunate because it's a great device, but we figured out one hack. There's one hack. If you are using an iPad, if you're using an iPad that has cellular or ethernet connectivity, okay, what you can do is you can connect directly to this device here. And let's see if we can find it here. There you go. So what'll happen on this device? This device actually has its own Wi-Fi connectivity, has its own Wi-Fi. Can connect it here and now I've disabled the personal hotspot so that won't work but let's say we're just using this register right here we're just using this guy um, what we're gonna do here save it and there it is it's disabled so now if I go in here and there it is Wi-Fi printer is what it sees it as I'll print the test there it is, a little test right there. So here's the cool thing. Oh, it's going right there. So I go in here, great, it likes me. So go in here, I'll go order a cup of coffee. We'll go ahead and start the cash drawer. Order a cup of coffee, hot drip, latte, we'll add it. Oh, I forgot one added step. I have to enable uh, open tickets here. Play management, open tickets. We're gonna turn that on. Open tickets, yep. And then uh, we're gonna make sure I have one more setting here. Uh, so if I go into my printers, and I go into the uh, rail printer station, I'm gonna hit Wi-Fi. And then there we go, we're gonna hit order tickets. So just order tickets, we just wanna print order tickets. I'm gonna go here. Now, if I go in, I've got my open tickets, hot drip, I want a latte, we want a couple extra shots. And uh, if I go ahead and save that ticket under my name, Gary, it'll print out 
There it is right there. And so the theory is that this printer could be down here at our espresso station. And as the orders are taken in one end, it's printing out the orders on the other end. But the catch on that sucker is it doesn't work on Bluetooth. Uh, it can only connect via Wi-Fi, connect, uh, connect via the square stand here, via Wi-Fi connectivity. It's not compatible with the, uh, the, square mini, the square mini POS system, so it's not compatible. So this device has very, very limited functionality um, if you only have an existing internet connection such as LTE connectivity or uh, Ethernet connectivity, if you are connecting that device uh, and, and your iPad stand is already on Wi-Fi, it won't work, your SOL, uh, use it as a paperweight. It probably makes a great paperweight. Uh, but anyway, uh, just some cool things here, some cool updates on uh, the um, Square Mini POS system. And if you have any questions, comment below. Please like my page, share it with your friends, and uh, peace out.